In this lecture, let's learn what exactly are props in React and how we could make our components more dynamic using those props. So props or properties in React are nothing but they are like the values which are passed to this component to make those components dynamic. So right now, if you take a look at this hello component, it's pretty static. And the thing which we want to do with this component is we want to make it dynamic such that this hello component uh, should be able to say hello to any person and not just Mike. So in order to do that, we'll make a component except props. So imagine that you are just working with simple functions in JavaScript. So as I earlier mentioned, a component in JavaScript is nothing but it's a function which returns a JSX. Now regular functions actually return some value, but the components actually return JSX. Now to a regular or normal function, you're able to pass in parameters here and to components, you're actually able to pass in props. So right now, if you want to make this component accept props, you could simply go ahead and pass in props here. So simply type in props right here. So now this component is actually able to accept props. Now the question is, if this component could now accept props, from where exactly could we pass props to this component? And the answer is quite simple. So you have defined this component here and you're using this component up over here. So that means you need to pass in props over here. So for now, let's get rid of the other hellos from here and let's only have a single hello here. Now let's learn how we could pass a props to a component over here. So let's go back to how would you pass in attributes to HTML. So in HTML, what you do is whenever you have some HTML tag, so let's say if you have uh, some sort of a heading tag, so if you have h1, in order to pass some attributes here, you type in the attributes like style equals something or some other attribute like that. So just as we pass in attributes to HTML tags, we could pass in props to the components. So I could say name as a prop and I could pass in the name of a person in strings. So let's say I want to pass the name as Rob, I could do that. So now once I have passed this name as prop over here, now the question is how exactly will I be able to access that name here? So let's first go ahead and see what kind of data do we get when we actually pass in props here. So in order to access props inside a component, I have to go ahead, use curly brackets here because this props is actually JavaScript. So here to access that, I would say props. And as soon as I do that, if I head back to the browser here, I get an empty screen. And if I open up the console here, as you can see, I get an error over here and it says that objects are not valid as a react child found object with keys name. That means this props which we receive here is actually an object and you cannot directly render objects inside a react component. Now the thing is, if this is accepting props and we have passed a name as a prop, how exactly will I be able to access that name here? So as this props is actually an object, uh, let's try to go ahead and console log this prop and see what exactly do we get. So if I say console.log and if I log the props here, if I go back here, hit refresh, as you can see, I'm getting an object here and we are getting the object twice. I'll explain why exactly that is the case. That is why exactly we are getting this twice later. But for now, you know that if we console log props, we are getting an object and that object has this name property right there. So now in order to go ahead and access the actual name, instead of saying props over here, I have to say props dot name. All right. So if I do that, if I go back here, it says hello, Mike and Rob. And that's because it says hello Mike here. So we could get rid of this hard coded name from here. And now it says hello Rob. And now I could finally go ahead and reuse this component as this component is now dynamic. Now you might be imagining that can we only pass in one set of data to a particular component as a prop? And the answer is no. You could pass in as many number of props as you want. So for example, uh, let's say if you want to make uh, this component fully dynamic. So let's say you also want to make this message part uh, dynamic as well. You could do that as well. So instead of having the message hard coded here, you could also pass in the message prop here. So right over here, we could do something like the name would be Rob and the message which I want to pass in uh, would be, let's say, 
hi there all right so now we have passed in the message along with the name as well and now if i want to access the message here i simply would have to do props dot message and if i do that save the code if i go back here to the browser now it says hi there rob so once we get that now let's go ahead and let's reuse the component and this time with a different message and a different person's name so right now as this component is dynamic i could pretty much go ahead copy this paste it up over here and i could now send a different message to some different person so let's say i want to send a message to tom and i want to change the message to hello all right so if i go back here now it says hello tom so this is what exactly props are and this is the reason why they are used so props or properties in a react component are nothing but they are some data which could be passed to a component so that the components could be made dynamic so right now let's get rid of these two components from here and let's keep one there all right so if i go ahead and hit refresh you'll be able to see that even though we have console logged the object once still we are getting this twice and that's because the react application which is set up for us actually renders or gets rendered two times and this actually happens because if you go to the main.jsx we are actually running react in a strict mode so if you take a look at our application it's actually wrapped inside the strict mode right here and what the strict mode does is that it kind of executes your application twice and that is actually done for safety reasons or for debugging purposes so the strict mode is used whenever your application is running in dev mode so whenever we will be launching our application in production you could simply go ahead and remove that and your application then won't be executed twice like that all right so i hope this kind of gives you an idea about why our application gets rendered twice so once we have learned about props in the next lecture let's learn an interesting concept uh, which makes our props even more usable and that concept is destructuring of props so let's learn about destructuring in the next lecture